Hi my lovelies, how are you all? Let me know in the comment box below. My name is Anjali and welcome back to my channel. So today I have this uh, autumn kind of uh, makeup look where I have used like orangish and um, cranberry kind of shades. And I just feel like it's really nice and appropriate for autumn. So if you want to see how I created this look, then please keep on watching. First of all, as usual, I'm starting with my NYX Pore Filler Primer and applying it onto my T-zone. Next, I'm using my MAC Prep and Prime Orange Color Corrector and just color correcting the places where I have a lot of pigmentation, especially my eyes my dark circles and uh, my eyelids also a little bit around my mouth and then blending it away with my finger For my foundation today, I am taking my Maybelline Superstay 24 hour foundation in the shade 30 and a mixture of L'Oreal True Match in the shade Amber Rose. And I'm using Beauty Blender and I have added a bit of my Body Shop Vitamin E oil, Serum in Oil. And I am going to apply it with the Beauty Blender. Even though it's looking slightly lighter on camera, but uh, in person it is looking fine, I must tell you guys. I am also going slightly onto my neck. Next, I am taking my L'Oreal True Match Concealer and applying to the usual places my under eye. My under eye eyelids, bridge of my nose and uh, also slightly on to the chin, forehead and around my mouth. And this I'm going to blend with my mini miracle sponge from Real Technique. To contour my face, I am using my Laurel Infallible uh, Foundation Stick in the shade 220 Caramel. I'm contouring the usual places. I'm also going to contour my jawline and slightly onto my nose. And I'm blending it out with the help of a brush. This is basically a blusher brush, but I really like this head for uh, blending my contour out, especially if it's a uh, stick foundation. I mean, a stick contour. To set my under eyes, I am using my Makeup Revolution Bake and Finish Luxury Baking Powder and applying it with the help of my Real Technique uh, sponge. I'm not really going to bake my eyes. I'm just setting my under eyes with the baking powder. Also onto the areas where I have used concealer so that it's nice and highlighted. Now to set my contour, I am using my NYX Contour and Highlight Palette and using the darkest shade 
and this basically the first and the last shade from the contour I am just going to set my contour slightly and then to set my nose contour I am using a blending brush you can use any uh, small brush just to so that it fits nicely on your nose I'm also slightly going under um, at the place where my brow is meeting my nose for my blush today I am going with my NYX Sweet Cheeks palette and I am taking these uh, this orange and this coral color and applying it onto the apples of my cheek For my highlighter, I am using my Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter from uh, Metallic Highlighter in the shade 50 Molten Rose Gold and I am applying it onto the high points of my cheek. This is a really pretty rose gold shade which I am really loving. Also going slightly onto the bridge of my nose. just slightly onto my chin and also on my up uh, onto the cupid's bow then I'm just going to remove the foundation from my lips and apply my Maybelline baby lips in the shade cinnamon so that my lips are really nice and moisturized before putting on any lipstick for my eyeshadow I am using my makeup revolution soft palette first of all I am going in with the shade uh, this is cup of tea. and using a blending brush I am going to uh, put it into my crease This is going to serve the purpose of the transition shade onto my eyes. I am putting it into my whole crease. I'm just I'm also bringing it in. Then I'm taking this orangey shade right here called uh, Cloudberry and I'm still going to blend, build my crease up. I am slowly building my crease and then so the next shade I am taking is this shade right here just beside the cloudberry and it is called pumpkin This shade basically I am tapping onto the corners first of all and then I am bringing it in to my crease all the way inside. Now for my lid shade, I am using this uh, golden bronzy shade called Copper Coin 
and I am going to apply it with the help of my finger. Since I just feel like uh, shimmery shades uh, always work best with finger or a flat, form, uh, flat uh, shadow brush. But fingers are always your best tools. And I'm just packing the shade onto my eyelid uh, until I'm happy with the intensity of the shade. For my lower lash line, I am going in with this shade called Pumpkin, taking a thin blending brush and applying it onto the lower lash line. And just smoking my lower lash line out. I just feel like I need a little bit more onto my eyes, so I am going in with this shade right here called Danger. And I'm just uh, going onto the outer corner of my crease. And just deepening it up. I'm only deepening the outer corner of my eyes. I'm not blending it all the way in. And I'm blending everything away with a clean blending brush so that there are no harsh lines. I am also taking this uh, shade Danger a little bit onto the outer corner of my lower lash line. Just to make sure there is uh, a nice balance between my eyelid and my lower lash line. For my inner corner highlight, I am taking this shade right here, which is Fairy Lights. I have my uh, this plasticky name thing on my on the mirror, so I am taking this shade and applying it into the inner corner. I'm also using the same shade for my brow bone highlights using a different brush. This is a flat shadow brush from Real Technique. This is uh, these are the new Sam and Nick uh, collaboration from with Real Technique. So I I really like these brushes. These are really nice, and I am using this for my brow bone highlight. I am going in with my blending brush once more uh, to, just to make sure there are no harsh lines and everything is nice and blended. For my eyeliner, I am going in with my Maybelline Hyper Precise All Day Eyeliner. And I am going to create a really thick uh, not a thick but uh, a really thin eyeliner for my waterline I am also going in with the Maybelline uh, Lasting Drama Gel 24 hour pencil And I'm just slightly lining my waterline.
I'm also using this for tight lining. Without coal, I just feel like my eyes are slightly naked. Now for my mascara, I am using my Falsies Push Up Drama Mascara and applying it onto my lashes. It's going to load my lashes with this mascara. Also going on to my lower lashes. And next for my eyebrows, I am using my L'Oreal Brow Artist Expert Pencil. You have seen me using this like thousand times by now. I'm going in my hair direction so it's nice and blended and just blending everything with the spoolie to set my eyebrows on place I am using the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper in the shade uh, medium to dark Just to make sure that uh, all the hair are in place. For my lipstick, I am going in with my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Leon, and this is my favorite shade. And I basically use it like almost every day. I just feel like this is the perfect nude for me. So we are more or less done with my makeup and uh, I applied false lashes off camera and uh, now just to set my face so that everything stays in place I am using my NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray I just hope my camera is picking up and uh, so I am just going to spray it onto my face so. so that everything is nice and locked onto my face so here's a completed look my friends if you like it then please give it a thumbs up and as always all the products will be mentioned in the description box below so do check it out and uh, if you like this video then don't, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and of course don't forget to hit that bell button to get notified every time I upload a new video. Also please let me know in case you want to see any kind of uh, any particular look or any kind of video you want to see. So definitely comment down below and I will try my best to make all the videos which you want me to make so that I can create more valuable content. So yeah, till the next time. Goodbye and take care.